they're very excited about getting the start, uh, season started. And I do want to hear from them this year, more so than last year and maybe the year before. Oh, sure. And I think definitely just looking at, at it from this year to last year, that the excitement level is just hugely up based on last year was the, you know, bridge year. And right. This year is the... Uh, you know the the bit the bridge is built because so. sometimes the the projections you know realize themselves you know like when the Celtics got the big three together and then they did win the NBA champion well look at this Red Sox team I mean sure. they're so loaded they have to be one of the you know top three teams in baseball now they just have to like they keep saying they have to go out and prove it uh, and trying to find question marks you know maybe the depth of the starting pitching would be a problem or something but compared to everybody else they're better. Yeah, well, there's and, and, and we were talking about this last night a little bit on the program here that the the five uh, spot is is really the one that, that comes into question. Now you could sit and pick apart uh, what Josh Beckett did last year, which mm-hmm. by the way was was miserable. Uh, yeah, it was terrible. It was an awful, awful and with the, loss. the problem when we sort of talk about the Red Sox. See, when I compare the Red Sox starting pitchers to every other team in the American League, you can pick apart what the problems are with Beckett and Lackey didn't really come through and Dice Gay's frustrating all that. Stuff. Every other team is worse. You sure. know, no, not not too many teams start with Lester Buckholt and then have problems with Beckett and Lackey. You know, right? Uh, so you know, criticizing them is one thing, but it is a problem, I think, as the Red Sox look to be a World Series favorite, not a playoff team, not a ninety-five win team. But if you're going to be a World Series favorite, then Beckett and Lackey have to step up much more so than they did last year, and you they still do. have to get good years from Buckholt and Lester. They do anyway, though. I mean, just based on the demands of uh, of what they're now earning, you know, the, you know that the standards change when everybody becomes aware of what you're making. Mm-hmm. Like as in J.D. Drew's case, for example, uh, you know, he's held to a fourteen million dollar a year standard, and you don't think he's lived up to that? He's, I think, he's been a, more of a Trot Nixon seven million dollar <laughs> right. standard out there, and, and it's, yeah. it's hard to find an argument against the guy drives in an average of sixty eight runs a year. Fourteen million dollars. So everybody, thus he's judged on that on that scale. If he was making seven million, and I've heard people say that he, nobody would have any problem with what JD Drew does or doesn't do out there. Mm-hmm. But at fourteen million, they do, and I think the same applies to Beckett. Now that he's, you know, the the eighteen million dollar a year guy or, or whatever it figures out to be, I think it's around there, isn't it? Sure. Eighteen million dollars a year, man. That should buy you a heck of a pitcher. Think about it. If you get eighteen wins, Bob, that's a million bucks a win. Yeah, it's, 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 that's that's what they pay for now, right? So that, I mean, you've got to be able to earn that. That's and, like five hundred thousand dollars a start. Now we, I've heard somebody saying here that that uh, Beckett has been. Somebody mentioned Beckett might be the opening day starter. I don't know. Was it you? Was, yeah, I read uh, <laughs> Gordon Eads, and I was sitting there thinking, you know, and Eads said that uh, he's likely to be. And then uh, if you look at Steve Buckley's column, they're saying that uh, you know you ask Buckholtz and he says Beckett. You ask Lester and he says Beckett. You ask uh-huh. Beckett and he says Lester. Yeah. But <laughs> so I, but there's no the the idea of Beckett being the opening day starting pitcher after posting an ERA close to six last year right. is similar to, in my opinion, saying, well, David Ortiz should be your cleanup hitter. You know, right. you're just living on the past and the reputation. Ortiz has been passed by Adrian Gonzalez or Kevin Euclid or pick a guy who you want to be batting fourth this year. Right. He's been surpassed. He needs to get out of the way. Beckett has been surpassed Absolutely. By, by Lester for sure. And probably by Buckholz. So people are still holding out this idea that, well, what if he can't repeat the uh, why couldn't he? Yeah. But so Lester definitely is your best starter. Why wouldn't you start the season with him? He has. He not only is, he, is the best starter in the Red Sox. The, the number that really jumps out at me when you talk about John Lester is his lifetime winning percentage. He's got a winning percentage of of point seven oh nine. Now that's just under Spud Chandler, the all time record holder in Major League Baseball history for winning percentage, was point seven one seven. So he's like nipping at the heels. Of Spud Chandler, the Can you imagine I mean, ahead of Whitey Ford, ahead of Koufax, ahead of Pedro, in the same conversation with Spud Chandler. With Spud Chandler, but I mean, that's, you think about that's a tremendous winning percentage. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, Seventy. If you're in the, if you're sixty percent, you're in the Hall of Fame. But that's know. why, with the Red Sox in particular, and there were the Yankees, you can't judge a starting pitcher by wins. They're going to get wins because they get seven runs of support most of their starts. Mm-hmm. So Lackey's going to get 15 to 17 wins despite. Um, Beckett would do the same if he kept, makes enough starts. Uh, but you, I think you got to judge the starting pitcher for the Red Sox by innings pitched in ERA. They'll get their wins. The, the difference between Lester last year, what do you have, 19 wins last 19, year? 19, I think, and 9, right? And uh, so if he had uh, 17, uh, 19 wins and Buckholtz had 17 
and then you drop down to John Lackey at 14. So the difference between, say, Buckholz at 17 and Lackey at 14, you think that was three wins between the two of them last no. year? Buckholz was much better than that. <laughs> it's but, about it's about $15 million a year is what yeah, the difference Yeah, but, but Lackey's going to get 15 wins regardless. If he goes out and makes 33 starts, he's going to get at least 15 wins yeah. because he's pitching for the Red Sox. 